Hey guys, welcome back to Amanda's Favorites. I hope you guys are all doing good today. It's a nice, sunny, hot, normal summer day in Texas. That's what our weather is all summer here. And I am so excited for this planner that I was sent to review. This is by Katie Daisy. You can find her on Instagram. You can also find her at katiedaisy.com. Um, she started out with just an Etsy shop, and that's when I found her. I found her from her Instagram several years ago. This is her business card. Is that not the cutest business card you have ever seen? She is an amazing artist. I just, I love the bee. I love everything about this card. And this is her business card that comes in the planner. Like I said, you can find her at katiedaisy.com. I will link that below, also in the video description. I, I mentioned I found her on Instagram several years ago. I loved her art. I actually bought two prints a couple years ago from her Etsy shop, and they are hanging framed in my living room right now, still. And I follow her and love her art. She is, um, I would say, like a nature artist, mostly. Um, it's all about nature and the love of earth, and I just... I absolutely love it. So the past couple years she has made planners. I have seen them, but I did not make an effort to buy one simply because I knew it wasn't really big enough for my needs, my planning needs, since it includes like so many lists and you know, my planning is just not like the appointments that I may have that day, as you guys know from watching my other videos. But when one of my friends who is also, um, a viewer uh, said, recommended that I should review her planner. It like was like a light bulb. I'm like, oh yeah, I should because I love her art. Her planner is only $15 on Amazon. And when I show you all that you get for that, that is the biggest bargain because you don't even have to pay shipping on Amazon if you're Prime, um, like most people are. So this is only $15 on Amazon. It is a 17 month planner. So it starts in August of this year, 2017. It goes through the entire year of December. I mean, the entire year of 2018 through December. So it's a 17 month planner. It is a weekly planner that also has monthly views. You can also view that she has a wall calendar, which looks awesome too. Um, but you guys know I'm kind of um, already stuck on my wall calendar that I've used every year, but I honestly would use her wall calendar too. You can check that out on her site, katydaisy.com, or I'm sure that is on Amazon too. I haven't checked. Yes, it is. I did check. It is on there. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. When you get this planner, her business card will be in this cute little pocket right here at the front. So you can stick something little in there if you need to, or little notes. So you get her cute business card, which I think is just cute enough to like prop up on your desk. I love how there's just a picture on the back and nothing else, absolutely no words. So you can just like enjoy that artwork. So I think that's a little gift in itself. I love how it comes with a band because you can always just put the band inside the back page if you don't need to use it for your planning purposes. But I love planners that come with a band with that option because this one is definitely small enough that you can um, throw it in your purse, throw it in your bag, throw it in your backpack. So um, with this portability, I just think that the band is really good to keep it together. Okay, so you have your beginning page with your name and your contact and just every page is filled with art in this planner. It's filled with her beautiful art. And it goes seasonally, and I love that. So when you see the months, you'll see what I mean by that. You have 2017 at a glance, the whole year here. And I'll just kind of give you a close-up. Let me get the band out of the way. Let me just hook this in so it's not in the way the rest of the time. Okay, so she does have like the type writer font on here for those dates. And you go all the way through 2017. And then, um, you know what, since this is a smaller planner, let's get a little bit closer, guys, because I just hate it when you can't see things on the screen when you're trying to look at a planner. Okay, 
So it starts out goals for the year. So even though you're starting in August, which is when a lot of people start their academic planners, I know some academic planners start in July or even June, but this academic planner starts in August, which is when I think the majority of schools start. Ours does. Ours start August 21st. So you have a page for goals for the year. This is definitely for more of the unstructured free thinker. You know, you don't need all those lines and boxes to fill in. And I absolutely love this. When I was showing it to my husband, I was like, honey, do you think I can ever use a planner this small again? Because I did once, if you watch my planning journey video, I used my Mary Inglebright Weekly for so many years before I got into the bigger planners. When my life was just calmer and I didn't feel the need to have so many lists or I was going to forget things. And he just laughed. And I said, maybe when the kids are grown, maybe when I'm a grandma. <laughs> so he laughed again because, yeah, I don't know if I'll ever be able to go to a planner just this small for all my needs. But I could find something to use this planner for because it is so beautiful. I just love to look at it. It makes me happy. So at the beginning of every month, you have a picture for that month. This is August. Love it. And it goes with just like the theme of August. And here is your whole month of August. I already wrote in our first day of school because I just love to write in a planner. Just get it and feel how it is to write in it. Now, it's not like she has super thick paper or anything. But it's not super thin. It's thicker than a lot of the Target planners um, that I felt and did in my Target video. So I don't see it being a problem. That was a Pilot Precise G205. All right, this is August, and even though you don't have tabs because of the way this planner is, you do get a little August um, written down there. So if you're like flipping like this, you know, you might easily be able to find that month. Okay, so then you have August and her beautiful theme for August. And each one of her months does start, even if it's midweek, exactly on that date. I will show you. I will flip through here and show you. So August, here's a Monday. Here's a whole week. She gives you the moon cycles. She gives you all the major holidays. And I just love these drawings in between here. It is simply beautiful. It would make me happy um, just to be looking at this every day. Okay, so there's our first day of school. I labeled it. Not that I'm excited about that. I'm not. I love summer and love having my kids home. But that was just the first thing I thought to write in here. There's going to be a full moon on the first day of school, by the way. And a total solar eclipse, too. Okay, so she does note those things. More nature-like things of the earth, probably, than are in other planners. Now, I'm going to show you when a month ends. If there's room, she'll give you a note section. Okay, and then what happens is that ends on a Thursday. Do you see that? Okay, just so you can note this. Then the next month starts. This is September's picture. September has lines to write in. Every month is different, okay? September, then you have your full month view, and then you go into, you have an extra note page just because it fits, because September starts on a Friday. So she does not combine your weeks there. What month your week ends in, it ends in that month. Then you have a whole new month start, even if it's midweek, okay? I know that's not like a lot of other planners, but like I said, this isn't a super structured planner. So for people who are using this type of planner, I don't think that's necessarily going to bother them. Okay, what I'm going to do is do a flip through. I really want you to be able to see all the months, but I know that you don't want me to be flipping slowly through all the months. So I'm going to go ahead and speed this up for you guys. This is September. And then, oh, isn't that beautiful? That's October. She gives you a two-page spread. That just looks like October, doesn't it? See, it doesn't have to be holiday themed to make me happy. It just has to have the feel of that month for the season. And I realize we're not all in the U.S. And so I'm sorry. I know I'm going seasonally in the U.S. But Texas doesn't have typical seasonal weather from the U.S. either. Like, we don't even get cool until, like, November. But I still like having fall stuff in the, in the months that it typically is in. So here for October, she gave you a gratitude list. Every month is something different. And then October, oh, I love that. 
I just, I absolutely love that. Okay, so since your week, since your October starts on a Sunday, she's just giving you a picture because then you have a full week. See how that works? Okay, so every month is different in that way and every month's theme and colors changes. Okay, so I'm gonna do a flip through and I'm going to go ahead and speed it up. Okay, and then now we are at the very end. She has a page that says let go and then just a notes page. I love her bees. And then you even get January of 2019. So looking ahead, she gives you January of 2019. Then another notes page. And you have several note pages interspersed throughout the months in there. I hope you could see that. And then you get 2019 as a glance. Now there's no pocket at the back, but it has a beautiful cover. The pockets at the front. So I hope in our flip through you could see that like something I wanted to show you was the beginning pages of the months are different even the ones like this is November for 2017. Okay. And then if you go to November of 2018. Okay. She did make this part the same. The monthly. That is the same. Okay, yeah, it looks like it to me at least. Um, but the beginning page of November, you get a whole new different piece of art from November 2017 to November 2018. So see how it's all labeled? It's different. Feeling grateful. This is November 2018. This is your November 2017. And I love that. I love that it's not like repeated the same thing just because this is a 17 month planner. So this is November 2017 and this is November 2018. I love how she re-puts the year up there at the beginning of each month since this planner, you know, goes over the scope of more than one year. I hope that you guys could see how beautiful I drain the flip through. Um, let's just go to a few months. I'm going to highlight that there are no lines. I wanted to show this, but her pages change each month. Like this one is kind of a grid. Graph paper looks used and worn with the blue lines. Okay, that's August, but the months change. Ooh, and I loved how March she put green in there. So with each color of the month, it changes. Like December, even though it's not your typical Christmas, it's so beautiful. Save her life and all its magic. And this certainly looks like the magical season of Christmas to me and all the constellations and the stars because Christmas always makes me think of, of course, the, um, the star over the manger and leading the wise men. So stars seem fitting to me. Um, and this is December right here. Now, oh, I was showing you the page colors. I almost forgot. I'm so entranced with her art. That I get distracted on what I'm showing you. So in December, see, it's a grid, but it shows all the way through. It's not like the worn pages. And it goes with the blue of December. And something I loved is in March, she did one side green, one side the kind of worn cream colored, and then she flipped it on the next page. And the next one's green and then the cream colored with all the leaves. And then the green and the cream colored, so it's flipped. I just have, love how every month so much goes with what you would think seasonally for that month in the U.S. You know, June is strawberries, May is flowers, and it's just a very beautiful planner to me. If you like her type of artwork and if you are into nature, um, 
I, I love it. So if you like her artwork, check it out on katydaisy.com. Like all her artwork is not on Amazon. It's just like her calendar, her planner, that type of thing. So for $15, the fact that you get this much artwork, like just beautiful stuff. Like I could see myself using this as like a gratitude journal even because it's just a tiny little space every night to write in like what something that you are grateful for that day or something that touched your heart that day or some way you saw the Lord's hand in your life that day if you like to record those types of things and so I could definitely see myself using it for that type of thing or just for a journal for your family just um, scribbling down a few things that happened that day um, but I know that many people can use a planner this small so it might work for you on you know just normal planning these boxes are pretty tiny but if you write small and you get a very thin tipped pen you know I think it can definitely work for you and I just love the art the art makes me happy and like I've said in many of my videos before um, I just think your planner should make you happy and if it doesn't then it's time to look for another one because this is supposed to motivate you in your life to not only just get your to-do list done but to get your goals done to be moving forward in your life and if it's not making you happy then it's not the right one for you so I am so happy I got a chance to review this planner I'm definitely gonna find a way maybe as a gratitude um, little journal to use this in my life because it's beautiful the colors of the seasons make me happy and I am so grateful that they allowed me to review this for them and it's just so affordable for anyone that wants it $15 on Amazon so if you have Prime there is no shipping I promise I'm getting nothing from their company I just I really love her art like I said it's hanging in my living room and I think this is the perfect gratitude journal or planner for someone who doesn't need to write down too many to do's every day or if you just want to keep this for like your appointment book and your to do's go in like another little notebook which a lot of times mine do so this could work as just like an appointment book and not your to do list all right guys thank you so much for watching and for supporting please like and subscribe if you have not subscribed yet i would love for you to join this community and have a great day guys we will see you next time